everybody. My name is Sarah. Welcome to Kids Following Jesus. Are you ready? Ready for what, you might ask? Well, anything. It's important to be prepared for what might happen in life. Now, Jesus tells a story about being prepared in Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 through 13. You can look up the full story here. Now, I'll paraphrase it. In the story, there are 10 women, and they're getting ready for a wedding celebration. They are waiting for the groom to arrive in order to start the party. Now, some of the women, they are very wise and they're prepared. They have plenty of oil that is needed to keep their lamps working. Kind of like we use batteries and flashlights. They had to use oil for their lamps. Now, there are also some women that were not so prepared. Now, they had oil for their lamps, but they didn't have any extra. So the first set of women, they have batteries in their flashlights and they have extra batteries. The other women just have the batteries in their flashlights. Now these women, they have waited a long, long time and you know, they just, they start to get tired and they fall asleep. Now when they are awakened, they find that it's nearly time for the groom to be there and the party is going to start. The women who are prepared, they're ready, but the others who had not thought to, brought, to bring extra oil, well, they need to run to town and get some more. Now while they're gone, getting that extra oil, the groom arrives and he takes the women who brought extra with them to begin with and he brings them into the party and he closes the door. Now, those who weren't prepared and had gone to town to get extra oil, they arrive, but they are too late to get in to the party. The door has been closed. The groom does not invite them in because, well, they weren't ready. Now, what does this mean to us? So it means that we need to be prepared and we need to be prepared for the time that Jesus comes back to us. It is something that is promised and God keeps his promises. So Jesus will at some point come. So how do we prepare? Well, there are many ways that we can prepare. We pray, we study God's word, we worship with others and encourage each other, we're kind to others. All of these things help keep us prepared because when Jesus returns, it will be better than any party that we could imagine. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for keeping your promises. Help us be prepared for when Jesus comes back. Amen. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back next week with more Kids Following Jesus. Mm -hmm.